We are recording our Green Space Advisory Commission meeting. Um, I think that's all. We don't have any <laughs> visitors tonight. Um, we took law and order time reading. What? It's law and order time reading. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I guess that's lost my touches. We need for agenda. Sorry. Agenda. Um, Paul, I'm going to call the meeting to order and we'll take a roll call. And are you taking minutes? This? Yes. Yeah. So here's the, there's the roll to, oh, to right. call. Oh, okay. That's officially official. All right, officially the secretary for this month and next year. Okay. I'm here. Hello. Hey. Hey. There he is. Bill. Hey, Jerry. Bill, are you online? Mm -hmm. I don't see Bill. I am here. Laura. Laura is absent tonight. Jeff. Here. Jerry. Here. Warren. I am here. Emily. Here. Yvonne. Here. Okay. All right. Um, we need to approve those March minutes. Does anybody want to make a motion to approve the March minutes? Uh, I'll make a motion to approve them. Let's approve. Anybody want to second the motion? I second it. Okay. <laughs> Um, visitor comments. We have no visitors this evening. So we'll just move on to old business. Um, the secretary schedule is, thank you for doing this job for this month and next. And then, um, Jerry, right, do you think it's probably easier to do minutes if you're in person? Do you think? It, it, June and August probably aren't going to be any easier for you to get here, right? Oh, you're oh, muted. You're muted, Jay. Oh, there's both. Yeah, Better. probably not. Okay. Well, perhaps we can just uh, up the schedule. Yeah, we'll just up the schedule. Hi, Bill. We see you. Hello. Um. So we'll move Linda, you up, mm -hmm. and then everybody up. So I'm there. doing. June and August. June yeah. And August. Yeah. And we're going to be. What happened to July? July. If it's okay with you guys, I'm going to suggest we skip the month of July for a meeting. Oh, okay. Just to have a little break. Sure. Um, I like how you think. <laughs> <laughs> um, we, we had a subcommittee meeting with um, the Sustainability Commission, which we'll talk more about. And they. They did that, and I thought, you know, that sounds like a really good idea just to give everybody a little bit of a break. Yeah. It sounds like maybe some other commissions do that, too. But we're pretty active, and I appreciate all you guys do and all the meetings we go to and the extra things we do outside of the meeting. So that's going to be a suggestion. I like it. Everybody good with that? I'm good with that. Okay. Let's see, month of the parade that we're... Right, we're going to be in the parade. We're going to be in the parade. I don't know. You, know, you can, that's your meeting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, then the next item of business is the trees of distinction. Um, Joe, do you have an update? Do we have any needs or? I think Yvonne was working on getting the award. I just needed an email or stop by. And confirm that they're going to be there, but they are they're already aware that they're being awarded, and they know the date and the time. So I just need to follow up. Were they glad? Yeah. Excited? Yeah. Okay. Great. Um. Good. And you're working on. I that. have the books, and then I did order some little plaques, but haven't seen them yet. I guess I should have put the tree steward thing on here. To just well, I guess that's part of the Arbor Day celebration. Um, so we'll go on to the next. Anything else you want to say about tree distinction? Okay. Um, the next item of business is uh, the 
green space advisory committee and sustainability committee subcommittee update and do you want to just review our subcommittee meeting uh foreign i'm not no. i'm putting you on the spot <laughs> Hold on, let me see if I can find my notes for that meeting. I have, I think I have mine, so if you don't. Okay. Oh, and did Jamie do minutes for us? She did. That... She emailed them out. Um, yeah. I don't have those in front of me. Not that long ago. No, I mean, I remember the meeting, but I don't have any details from it to talk about, apparently. So... Unless you want to give me a minute to pull up the minutes from Jamie, I'm not going to be very helpful here. Um, that's okay. I think we talked about the stormwater master plan with them and got an update. But um, last night at City Council, Todd gave everyone an update that he got a proposal um, to uh, from intuition and logic to update the master plan. So right now the city is just considering how to pay for that because I think it was a little more than they had expected. I'm trying to remember, it was six digits, it was like line 50. So, um, which I'm not sure what we were expecting to come back, but apparently that is more than that was. So Mayor Arnold asked Jamie to kind of come um, work with sustainability and you know, with the subcommittee too, to come up with since it's budget season, like what are kind of the budget requests for the upcoming year and how do we want to work that? What did you say the number was? One five zero, $150,000 to update the um, stormwater. So um, that was one thing we talked about at the we, we didn't have anything to share actually at our subcommittee meeting. Um, and we talked about normal April and just got everybody on the same page for that. We um, talked about the eco ed series and sustainability is gonna sort of take over uh, planning for like the second half of the year. So from August on till the end of the year. And I'm sure, you know, if we have ideas, we can go to them with the ideas. Um, and they're going to keep us abreast on what they're planning. So um, just keep bringing good ideas to the table and we'll share with them. Uh, one minor item. I've got Jamie's notes here. Uh, Carrie, well, one of us, us, you or me, are going to need to do the watershed awareness introduction on April 20th. No, you or uh, Jamie. Me or Jamie. You are going to be gone. Jamie or yes. I. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm, I'm back where I need to be. Okay. Thanks, Carrie. <laughs> Um, but they're excited about how well the Eco and Series series is going. going. Um, I'm going to talk about in new business one of the upcoming Eco Ed subjects. We talked a little bit about the Fourth of July parade, which basically got no traction there either. So I think that's just a nebulous thing right now. But, oh. um, and we talked about dark skies. <laughs> Yes. Um, yeah. And well, I'm sorry, Linda, you were at this meeting too. Yeah. Uh, you probably got your own set of notes. Um, we kind of approached them to see if they would be interested in like moving forward with this a little bit. And um, Jamie said something they're very interested in working on, but they've got a uh, sort of I guess it's their sustainability plan that they put together. The forward Webster Grove. Forward Webster Grove. So I so believe look at the work the they did to build that plan. They've sort of set some priorities for themselves. And that's what's guiding their work. And I was very um jealous. I don't know if jealous mm -hmm. is the right word, but I I really admired that approach because. She basically said, yeah, we want to help with this, but that's not on our priority for right now. So we're going to add that to the list and find out where that priority lies. Um, I think that Linda has been doing some separate work on dark sky stuff, but um, so we could get into that, maybe add that to new business. 
we had a follow-up meeting. You uh, did, like a sub yeah. subcommittee yeah. Sub, sub okay. meeting. We're going to so, report back when we get there. Yeah. We'll, yeah. we'll add that to you, um, the new bit in this. It'll be brief. We haven't gotten right. that far yet. <laughs> okay. All right. It's a great plan. Hopefully. So that's what, those are the things we talked about with the, um, with that subcommittee. It was yeah. good to just learn a little bit about what they were doing too. Yeah. Um, and I guess out of that subcommittee came the conversation to further the dark skies talk. Yep. Um, so the next item of business is the no mo April movement, which I don't know if you guys saw the article in the oh, paper. It's good. Excellent. Yeah. Yes. Well. Yes, you were so we hard we on that. Read some hate mail about it. <laughs> oh, did you? Well, um, it turned. I mean, it's just. Corin wrote something on social media. It gave a lot of really things. good. I told. I was telling him today oh, too. Yeah, okay. I was like, that nice was pretty. Guys. And that kind of stuff. I had two thousand words. That's how we started with yeah. two thousand words. Was covering all the same stuff because I knew it would give us a lot of. Between the two of us. And we could, I mean, it wouldn't fit. I mean, it just, so it's basically a public service announcement. <laughs> That's all it is. Did we find by the time we got everything packed in? But yeah. tell me, I don't know that they need to, you know, find out about this mystery person who's. Oh, well, I will. We can talk about that, but I want you to be, um, uh, you know, I want to say thank you for all oh, your hard work. That is great. And working with Jamie and I think we were lucky that yes. that to be front page. I was page not expecting front right. page. I was not. Yeah. It's your photo, right? It's pretty excellent. Yeah. And my fr my friend's photos on the inside. I... Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're funny. She said my name. Can I ask what, the, <laughs> can I ask what their complaint was? Like a, oh, well, topic I seen it. Um, well, I haven't really seen it either. Actually, yeah. I don't. I don't know that it was a, the one online. Yeah, I think that was it. The only yeah. complaint was that from someone that owns a lawn service in Webster, mm -hmm. um, and he said, you know, that you would be cutting your lawn down when it's in a major growth season, and that was inappropriate. And that you would then probably hurt your lawn more when you went back and um, advise against it and said that it was like scientifically backed. Yeah. By, well, that was another thing I was going to put in my story. By lawn companies. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I, was, I saw that and I was like, I'm not going to comment on that. Oh, yeah. Because, uh, but <laughs> clearly, it's like in, our, in here and in all of our materials. If you, if you have a shady yard, no mow is going to work for you. I mean, but, you know, you're free to mow less. Right. Yes. Yeah. I mean, that's right. the whole key. Well, I mean, you could be that less. also assumes you have like a like mono a turf too. Like yeah. the recommendation that he made mm -hmm. assumed that you don't have clover and you don't have like this, mm -hmm. you know, that it's a much more controlled situation. Sure. So. Like, yeah. like the, the kind of golf. Yeah, course which is scientifically the worst thing you can do to nature. <laughs> well, kind of I got a call so. from Tessa Wasserman. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. yeah, right. Did she talk to you? Mm -hmm. This was, uh, I don't, I, I guess it must have been right after the B presentation. And she said she was listening to Mike Miller. Anybody know who Mike Miller? Yeah, came or, West Yeah, he's a yeah. Kim OS guy. He's old school. Garden, garden, garden. And somebody called, he's, yeah, at the Garden Hotline. He's right. got a Kimo X show. Oh. It's like at nine on Saturday morning. Oh. And I think he has a particular kind of audience mm -hmm. who obviously is not us. Mm -hmm. um, but apparently someone called in and asked about NOMO and about the program and what did he think about it and he did not speak well he had no information about the initiative whatsoever so he was speaking off the cuff and said mm. that would be a bad idea mm. but he's really old school horticulture mm. we, I, I well it's not, not for the sake of the grass right the whole initiative is not for the grass no right. it's not for right. grass right, right. everything else so, well the other thing he said was that that the mayor <laughs> and it's not it's not for your lawnmower either <laughs> <laughs> so that it was I mean, it, very frustrating it does make sense in that i know when i was taking the it's master gardener, nobody else the master like, gardener program we spent two weeks on turf uh, yeah natives were not mentioned 
at all. Yeah. So because I just so I said I think it mostly has people in support. I think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's a concept. Okay. Yeah. We're out of signs. Lots of signs. Drive. It's a beautiful. Yeah. I've been trying not to pull my weeds. Okay. Yeah. Right? So, mm-hmm. I know. Like, yeah. yeah. I don't have grass, so I felt like I couldn't have a sign, but I've let all my weeds grow in the rocks. So. Yeah. So the beauty yeah. out there, like, yeah. I, mean, I have yeah. zoysia grass, and if I let that oh. grow, I mean, I would have to hire goats yeah. because the mower will not <laughs> do it. So I'm going to have to be, you know, cagey about it, but not gonna, and it does look a little shaggy. Well, um, I, I think overall it's going really well and it's pretty exciting. And yeah, um, it's a fantastic initiative. Um, I'm very proud of all of us. Well, when that helped. Can we can we have a contest where we have the people uh, that I get the to submit my time. yard at the end of the <laughs> end May first? Yeah, actually, yeah. the longest grass is a metal. We talked about doing that, just posting pictures somehow. Mm-hmm. And I think you asked. Yeah, you know, Jenny, Jenny was going to try to figure out. But I know Jenny's been really busy helping getting signs made and things like that. So, and she doesn't just work for us. So she's got all that on her plate. Uh, Jenny says that she's going to use my social media post as part of the Friday. Yeah. Oh, yes. so that's that's cool. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Some follow up impact there. Uh, Yay. We are going to remove the part where it sounds like I'm addressing the lawn care professional guy because it seems like it's calling him out. Right. Uh, yeah. and, and he's right. Actually, if you want that golf green course, yeah. you shouldn't do no more. Yeah. Uh, but it sounded too, too much like it was aimed at him. Right. So that part's out and the rest remains. Right. Cool. Well, we put together a little Jenny, I think because of the that one person just wanted um some more facts. Nice. Um cool. So we put yeah. together a little sheet oh, with great. some wow. links nice. to some journal resources. You did that? Um actually the Is your friend my friend at Webster U, mm. where you work now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, she runs the um, Shutter B program. Uh-huh. She's not actually; she's an acquaintance. Um, so she, who is it? Um, Nicole Miller Stratman. Okay. So we need to have. That was great. Year. Yeah, yeah. So she gave me that. She was very. Uh, she was so excited by the initiative and said, "This is great work you guys are doing." And if you need help in any other way, let me know. So she pretty much put this list together. Oh, well, I love having allies. So I'm going to, yeah, get this to Jenny tomorrow and I'll send it to you guys too. Yeah. So you have it and then you can link it to any, I'm going to put it on the web page too. So then you can send people to this link. And this is what I was talking about getting to come yeah. out. Yeah. Well, well, so that around I, think that, I mean, half of our, it's less even about grass and just, Getting people aware that we don't live here by ourselves, mm-hmm. which doesn't we make a place for nature to live next door. Yeah, so to speak. That's the main message, which he missed completely. So, how many people have y'all counted signs? Yeah. Like, so do we know how many, many she had made? Well, well, I just yeah. mean, like, are you seeing them in your neighborhood? Oh, yeah. totally. And we just put together a whole bunch. So at least one on our yeah. Oh, so there are more mm-hmm. out there to go. Yeah. Oh, maybe I've I'll grab another one. Because I stare well. Oh, I didn't give that one away. I gave mine away to a friend. Is she registered no, too, though? A of I she did not, but she will. Yeah. She tell like, her to she register. got the message that said, "Sorry, there are no more signs." But I'll tell her to go do it now. Yeah, um, I think there was seventy of those that sounded for, but then the rest are still available. Ivan, do we have any like um, city keep off like for that mulch project? I so yeah, sure could like put something to try to keep up, so it has oh. a minute to like. Gotta be honest. Tamp down and get yeah. settled yeah. for the mulch section. I, what are you talking about? Um, I've been working on a little project where we're smothering out some euonymus mm-hmm. at the entrance at Larson, and then we're gonna um, do bluebells in the fall through the community. And I'm just wondering if maybe I should put a little signage up to keep people from like tripping yeah. all over it. And we have um, this little. Stakes that have yeah. loops, and then you just kind of put a little. That'd be good. Oh, I just think dogs and kids and stuff, and I'm just worried until the cardboard has a minute to like settle in, it'll just you know I don't want to open up and then you want us can get out, you know. Okay. So if we have something like that, I'd come get it and put it out. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Just get a hold of. Okay. 
Okay, any other thoughts about NOMO? I'm really happy about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. very cool. Jenny's going to send a thank you to everyone who's kind of first sign and then uh, coordinate drop off of the sign. Are we collecting them? Are we going to collect them later? I think she. that's what she's organizing. Oh, yeah. We didn't mention it. <laughs> I know, but so she's taking, because she's got everybody who signed up, she's going to send a thank okay. you to. We created a little thank you note that looks like the sign, and um, she'll organize drop off probably. Jenny right. said got inquiries from outside too, like O'Fallon and stuff like yeah. that. Oh, cool. Yeah. 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 Jerry? Yeah. I have printed out um, 70 May stickers, so on April 30th, I'm going to go around and put May. <laughs> see if I can find them all. You can see my backyard. I don't mow it uh, most of the year. I mow a trail for my dogs. It's about a half acre, and we just have a meadow that's coming more and more wow, milkweed right. and other things over time. Very nice. Well, good work, everybody, for spreading the word. Um, it's been fun, and it's been fun to see the bees. I have seen a lot. Yeah, yeah, they are mm -hmm. active. super active. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right now. Um, okay, the next item of business is the Arbor Day celebration. Okay. And Yvonne sent her the little agenda around announcement. Um, what you that. call that? Okay. Everybody pretty squared away. Yeah, and looks good. Any questions? The me. Yep, I've got scouts, Rainer Boy Scouts, and, and Cub Scouts like coming. Cubbies are going to learn how to do the flag ceremony. It's going to be awesome. Okay, so that'll be great. Okay, and I'll pick up some snacks. Some snacks. Do we need anything else? Uh, are we good? You're looking oh, for volunteers to, to get. Uh, yes, I have had one volunteer signed up to plant 300 trees. That'll work. Forget to sign up. There'll be next year's tree story. I was thinking about <laughs> the next year's tree story. My daughters and Katie Drew. Do you think they would do that? Yeah. yeah. Is yeah. Is that right? And they don't have to dig the holes. We have to dig them. So they're just planting them. That's the most fun planting trees ever because you don't have to dig. Yeah. I'm thinking next year too. We have a lot of places out that conservation service hours. So spread the word about that. I think it's on, it's on, um, like I got a notice, I think today from Green. Yes, yes I got it too. Did you oh, already yeah, send I think it? That you, need, yeah, I that you need volunteers. I sent it and I, I sent little... this to you because I know okay. you have a place to post it as uh -huh. well. I, um, yeah. So I check I your. I should go back. Okay, thanks. Okay. So everybody squared away and Carrie you have a chance at the end to do announcements. Mm -hmm. And, and you don't need me to say anything, right? Unless you want to. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, if for some reason the mayor didn't show up, up, maybe you can do the project. Good job, the sure. I can read the project. Just like a tree. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we have a tree. Brown hands. Are we good? Yes. Yeah. Um, and then Joe, you have you'll take your make sure your book so and i did yeah. send this to vincent just so he knew kind of the time right? yeah and you reached out to him right Joe yeah, I yeah for like 45 minutes so as he was on vacation right yeah he's good to go he's excited he's yeah. done a lot in that park that i didn't realize oh yeah he, and he's doing more to have it look even better yeah. for every day so oh, nice. if you want so to take cool. a walk down the bird sanctuary prior to oh, yeah. see um, what he's doing and they have, they'll get to say something right if they want to those two sure. folks the steward and the mm -hmm. tree sure. i bet you guys love to say something what yeah. so, i'm sure vince would love to say yeah something. he's maybe we Psych should up. should we tell him he has like he's he had Will he go on and on? Or I think <laughs> he's a shepherd's He's a talker. He's very enthusiastic. Okay. Maybe we well, should tell him he had the little bell. Yeah, right. I guess if he wants to do and just say, and you want to say <laughs> you know, feel free. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. So. I tell you guys about the anthropod and the black friend spring. You told me. Yeah. But that's all. <laughs> I'm excited about it. Okay. Sorry, what now? He's going off script oh. here. Yeah, I'll show you a picture afterwards. <laughs> cool. In the spring. Yeah, I want to see it. I want to see it. Okay. Later. After the meeting. Yeah. The, the next <laughs> item on the yeah. agenda is um, the April 20th event. 
And um, the flyer went out for that. I think everybody should have seen that. I don't have a copy with me, um, but that looks really good. That's exciting. And we talked about it at the last Eco Ed series and invited people to come. Um, how do you feel about how that's lining up your coordinate with good. Stacey and yeah. Danielle? We have, I think, did I send you a agenda that we yeah. see? Okay, so you saw that. Yeah. So okay. I'm gonna follow up with them as well. Would you rather introduce them? Uh, well, rather than me or James, I think you're going to be kind of part of the. Yeah, I'll, I can introduce. I can introduce them and I can throw a few slides up at the beginning and the end as well. Well, well actually, what I wanted you to do, Warren, was sure. do that little slide thing at the beginning where you talk about what we're doing for GSAC. No problem. And then you can or introduce Jamie. me. Okay, but then I'll go up there for five, ten minutes, maybe, yeah. and then roll into Stacy and then Danielle, and I'll close it out. I like it. Let's touch base right before the talk. Okay. All right. Someone bring in the laptop. Yeah, we need a laptop. That's what, yeah. The, that's how. Anybody have a laptop? I have one, but I don't know if it'll work. I, I could bring it in and test it. Is this one at the library or at Long Street? Library. library. Yeah. And they don't have, they have the projector. They, I can bring my um, PC. They, what? I can bring my PC. Will okay. you be available? That yeah, for, night. The, for Thursday the 20th, yeah. Okay, yeah. that'd be great. We'll count on you then for that. Yeah, be there around okay. 6 15. Yeah, we'll set up chairs. And then microphone, you think for Stacy and Danielle? I think Stacy's projects pretty well. She projects. I don't know about Danielle. Okay, I'll bring one up. Joe can project. I had to recently. <laughs> okay, I'll, have a, I'll bring a microphone. Okay. Hey, Carrie. Um, Yes. There, we did, all had old business mayor's minor pledge last time and never did. So I don't know where you want to Yeah, yeah I'll, put, I'll put it on here. Okay. Because you I, might want to. I had it writ, written down. So you might want to put that some of that in the update slide. I don't know if uh, for the next talk or not. Well, we'll do it still. Um, oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, we should update that the intro deck for the presentation. We could, like, I got some slides showing what we accomplished in 22 okay. and then what we're, we pledged for 23 to do. Okay, maybe we, maybe you and I and Jerry could talk um, offline and I can figure out how to incorporate that information into the slide deck that Corin will be introducing. Okay. I, I was hoping to show it, so just to. No, you it. can. I just meant. Okay. Um, after this, we can coordinate for that meeting. Okay, awesome. is there anything else we need to coordinate for the April 20th event? I guess Jen, we can ask Jenny to do a, like a extra push reminder thing. Didn't we do that, Linda? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Stacy, you're all. Yeah, they're still good to go. I'm gonna that on your yeah. radar to remind Make sure, but. Like that Stacy when the whole and I'll do I'll do a refresher too on the getting contact with Danielle. They're both still to go. I'll back you up. So but I'll follow up again. Okay. And Jerry will bring a laptop and you'll bring a microphone. Yeah. Okay. Good. Is anybody are you pretty good with setting up? It's really simple, the setup, the tech setup, but they don't have anybody there to help. Um, I'm pretty tech savvy. Okay. Uh, I can't guarantee it. That's you know, awesome. but, okay. Yeah. Okay. I can usually make a computer. They work. have cables in the back, that little back room. Okay. Yeah. I can hook like, it. I did the, Linda, we did the first talk there. So oh, good. I know how to hook it up. Yeah. It's just the hard part is getting the laptop to sync up because. Oh, okay. I thought the lights was the hardest part. <laughs> <laughs> I figured that out, though. Do you yeah. remember that? I know. Okay. I'm, I'm saying all this because I'm not going to be there. Yeah. Okay. We'll be calling you. <laughs> it's okay. dark. There's no computer. <laughs> Where are the chairs? <laughs> okay. Great. Um. Then I've got marketing calendar update for for Linda next. I just made copies of this. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks. I'll have to mail you one, Jerry. This is a word. It's me on Google. Thank you. 
This is Harry's a much yep. better version of what we started to do is just to get with me. Sort of a timeline projecting it out so we can see what's going on. I take it up to November. Because you know, we don't do anything in December. Correct. And I figure in November we really have to nail down the topics that we want to the eco ed topics by then we'll have to start. Is that when the sustainability yeah. happens? Yeah, so we yeah. going from August. Yeah, to... they're gonna do from August. So yeah, we don't really have anything. And we just hope Jamie lets us know. Yeah. So we well, can with that. Maybe if we have a subcommittee meeting with her in the next month or so, we could um let them know about how we were coordinating with Jenny and okay. Um not the other because Jenny was making the flyers. This people have come to me with topics they think we should talk about, and they're really more her. Mm -hmm. her no, so I would say just email if you guys have ideas that you want to share, like you think it's a sustainability thing or for us to do in the future, you could just reach out. To Jamie, to send her email. Yeah, or text to you. Yeah. And then we could keep a running list of things that we would like to right. cover. Okay. So um, can we put this up on Google? Oh, I, I guess so. Do you, I, I'll, you, I'll email it to you. Okay. The original one we will. It's still there in Google Docs, and I have, you know, it's the thing. Yeah. But getting it to go back and forth. Yeah, send it to me, and I'll update it. And it starts in January, but I didn't want to print out all that paper. Yeah, you know, just, great. I just okay. chopped it down to April. Okay, so. And then everybody could have one, presumably. Yeah, everybody can check it out, and we can pull it up here. Um. So is there any, what's outstanding on here that we need to cover? We got this covered April 20th. Yeah, April 30 done. And we've got to, and May is Dr. Chris, who will be talking a little bit about watersheds and how to get with him. And he's all he's confirmed, he said. Uh, well, I haven't talked. I mean he confirmed it with us. Yeah. Um, with him. And we're gonna have the projector and be able to set up an apartment for that. Is that gonna be? Whatever you need. Okay. We have six thirty, and and then you've got a new person for the twenty second of June, right? I do. I'm pretty oh, yeah. excited about that. Um, and I'll talk. I can talk more about that later. Um. What time is it on the twenty-fifth? The Arbor Day. Yeah. Well, two, three, tree planting. I have this three o'clock, yes. and then Arbor Day celebrations at five thirty. Must be three o'clock. So I'm talking about May. Oh no. Oh. Yeah, but Larson. Oh. Yeah. Well, yeah. six May eighteenth. It's six p.m. Yeah. Just FYI, that's like end of school celebrations for all the elementaries. I want to be 18. I'm just worried about like for me that affects attendance. I'm just thinking. Yeah, there's something to do about it. We've already announced it, right? Yeah, we've been talking a lot about it. Yeah. We're probably gonna be I'm sure it'll be fine. I won't. Sorry. I have to host a bubble bus. You win. <laughs> win some you lose. <laughs> where are you hosting um, it? Where are you What? The what the um Webster U. Yeah. Is this is this a light? What do they call that building? <laughs> Interdisciplinary Interdisciplinary Science Building. I thought that's where I got that from the Auditorium. Where is it? Um it's kind of in the middle of the campus. But the big black it's looks the, like it's that kind of, glass. Yeah, and it has a uh, kind of a subterranean garden. Ooh, we go and go to forum was last spring for council on there. That's where we're going to have to June 22nd. Okay. Not to make it. And we're saying parking in the parking garage or is there a lot? Yeah, I, I have a flyer. Yeah. 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 
Um, so is there any, I don't think, I don't think there's anything else outstanding on this schedule for now, right? And now we're yeah. actually, okay. Um, for the delay, I think I'm just gonna put a hold on for now. Yeah, I think that's a good call. We've been putting it on hold for how many months? Now? We'll just keep putting it on hold. <laughs> Okay, then um, the last bit of old business I want to cover is the Monarch um, pledge yeah. stuff. And Jerry does have a couple of slides to share with us and a little bit of update. And I know you, Yvonne's got some plans we're doing it as Monarch pledge plantings, but we don't have dates for those, right? Yes, Correct. plants are ordered. We don't know when they're coming in yet, but we'll have to schedule work days for that to get installed. Okay. And then I'll talk to that one. Can you spell? Yeah. Okay. Can I can share? Yeah. I think you can. I hope okay. you can. Let's see. I have to share. You see that PowerPoint? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Wait, I wanted to show this Talk first because this, this is on the website. Where'd it go? I can't put this in. Um, I should get you a copy, uh, Vaughn, so you can give this to Mayor Arnold. So this was okay. downloaded from the website. This is from last year. This is 2022. So we made the leadership uh, circle. And so we got this certificate. This is from, I was supposed to do this, I think, two months ago <laughs> um, mm -hmm. when I couldn't log in or something like that. Um, so here's the. Uh, you nice. see that? Yeah. 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 All right. Um, so we made the leadership circle, which is really cool for 22 because we were the only one. But then after the fact, they extended it and they moved um, Chesterfield always makes it too. So that's good. And um, the other communities in Missouri were just in the regular category. So that means we got eight or more um, accomplished. And so these are the action items up top. You can see for 22. So all of these action items in the community communications and convening category. And then there's only one additional for 23 because we did so many of them. Um, and I can send this to uh, you, Carrie, or for the group. Yeah. But these are these are on the website. So we issued a proclamation, launch and maintain public communication effort, engage community uh, garden groups to plant, uh, engage with city parks and rec and public works, sustainability, yes. Engage with gardening leaders, master naturalists, master gardeners, support, uh, engage with developers, planners, landscape architects, and other community leaders. And then for adding for 23, or we could um, focus on creating a community-driven educational conversation, conservation strategy. And we're already doing under that, I would say, under the ed uh, talks, but um, just, you know, we'll leave this out there and see what the group thinks of what other things we can do for that. So this was under this category, the first category, communications and convening. And then the next one was um, program and demonstration gardens. And we actually only accomplished one. So you have to remember, we committed to these back a year ago at the very beginning of the year. And we knew there was probably more things we were going to do, but we only wanted to commit to what we knew. This was back in February of 22 when we made the commitment. So we hosted a supported native uh, seed sale. And then there's a lot of action items we can do for 23. So these are what I uh, committed to, and we'll see what we accomplished. Displaying educational signage at the Monarch Gardens and Pollinator Habitat. I know we're doing that up at Ruhi, but um, um, I, maybe there's some opportunities at some of the gardens we're putting in City Hall and um, mm -hmm. Ivory Crockett. Yeah, there, there's a sign already made for Ivory Crockett. Okay, so ch check that one off. Uh, okay. Launch or expand or continue invasive species removal program. I think we're already doing that. I don't think we yeah. had the goats down at Shady Creek at the time. When, so that'll be, that'll be in 23. Lots uh, of honeysuckle too. And right. the honeysuckle, right. Uh, add or maintain native milkweed, nectar plants and community gardens we've already done for 23. <clears throat> Earn or maintain recognition of being wildlife friendly. So I thought amongst all the talks and the connections and the watershed and that I didn't know if we wanted to officially register in the community. Uh, so the Mayor's Monarch Pledge is through the National Wildlife Family, uh, NWF, but if we also wanted to do the Wildlife Habitat Program. 
and then Absolutely. launch or maintain, or maintain outdoor education programs. Uh, Linda and I went over to Hickson last year and yeah. you know met with their group, but we wanted to you know focus more on a little bit of collaboration with them and, and helping them uh, or then helping us. So that would be one more we can check off. Plant or maintain monarch or pollinator friendly city hall already done in progress and facilitator support milkweed seed collection and propagation. I would say that we do that already. Would would you all say that? Well, we probably collect seed, but are we propagating? I guess. Well, we um, gave out plug we gave out plugs at, at the uh second talk in April last year, May. With Aaron um, Shank, we gave out oh, plugs. Right. We weren't propagating our own seeds, but um, didn't we do the seed swap at the uh, at the seed swap? The resource swap. Yeah, but I don't. Yeah, I don't remember if there were. I don't know if okay. that's what we need per se. Well, we can see where we are as we go yeah. on. And then uh, system changes, changing weed or mowing ordinances. I'd say we did that. Oops. Would you all agree? We've done that one. That was 22. And then uh, uh, changing ordinance for herbicides and insecticides. I've heard Yvonne mention this you know, many times, but actually changing the ordinance is, is different. So I don't know if we want to follow through with that with the council. Might be um, a good goal. It takes a while to do those things. Well, though, right? there is a change that you, if you're going to spray, you have to notify your neighbor, I believe. Uh, yeah. Um, so that was something in the last few years. And Yvonne, you put out something about reducing the salt, you know, in the winter for, oh, remember? Uh, well, Public Works, yeah, they're they're doing the brining instead of road salt. So those those are things that are already done mm -hmm. that yeah. aren't change actions for this year. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Um, integrate monarch butterfly conservation in the city master plan, sustainability plan. Would you say that's done in progress? Or can be? We can check with sustainability and see if they have included that. I don't know if they have or not. Yeah, I mean, that's something we could think about doing. I think it would just take, <laughs> you know, we had talked to, to the sustainability about, because they do mention green space in their plan. What is it called again, Emily? Forward Webster Groves. Forward Webster Groves, thank you. So <laughs> we could talk about how to maybe expand that plan if we won't want to make that a priority for us. Okay. Um, direct city property managers use native milkweed nectar plants at city properties where possible. So I don't know um, if that's possible. Sure. Um, I'm on board increase, with it. <laughs> increase the percentage of native plants, trees, shrubs that must be used in city landscaping ordinances and encouraging milk use of milkweed where appropriate. So I'm not. And that is in the ordinance to encourage native plants. Okay. Well, that covers so. the second part, covers that one. <laughs> and then adopt ordinances that support reducing light pollution. So. These are, uh, we don't have to do these. These are just ones that we, um, you know, pick that we we can work to, work to, towards for 23. And that's it. Great. Yeah, that's really great. So I can email these to you and Linda so you have. Yeah, yeah I would love to have those. I just have it on a Word doc. I just pop This we can start. We need to consult that when we devise our list of talks next year. Good idea. Because I've been thinking we should have mentioned monarchs, you know, when coming up this year. Yeah. More than yeah. We did. All right. Thanks, Jerry. Um yeah, so let's talk maybe after um later after the meeting about getting some of that information um for the eco ed slide because I'm talking about what we're doing there. Um, yeah, and if you could send people the link maybe to where that, to find that stuff online, that would be great. Okay. This group. Do you need to email the PowerPoint Word doc and the link to everybody in this sure. group? Sure. Okay. Yeah. All right. That would be great. Okay. Um, 
then we can move on to um, new business, which there's only one thing listed on here, but I think we have a few things to talk about. Um, the June 22nd event, um, we talked about with the subcommittee group and um, Jamie and Carla were very excited about the opportunity to do this. So um, the talk on the 22nd is gonna kind of be focused around this document. I don't know if you guys remember seeing this last, it was during the Douglas Hill, we brought this up and mm -hmm. had Josh Ward come mm -hmm. and um, kind of talk about it. And at the time, Josh said, oh, if you really want to know about this stuff, you need to, you know, have listen to Rhonda or have Rhonda come and talk. But um, Rhonda um, Burnett, who authored this conservation planning tools for Missouri communities. Um, you know, we really didn't thought it looked great. We thought, how can we work toward this? But, but we didn't do a whole lot more after after that. Um, so about in March, the beginning of March, Yvonne and I went and saw um, Rhonda speak over at Lewis and Clark Community College at a Grow Native um, event. They had four or five different speakers talking about sort of conservation and natives and ecology. And it was great. I was really inspired. I think Yvonne was too. And I thought our leadership needs to hear about this stuff. It just not that they can do anything right away, but just to have these sort of principles in the back of their mind as they're planning. Um, so after she got done talking, I just went up and asked her if she would come to Webster. And she said, sure, I'll come to Webster. And I I don't know if I went back and got a date because I thought we better pin this down now or what, but we landed on the 22nd. She said she was available then and that kind of fit into our eco ed schedule. So um, she's going to present basically the same thing that she presented there, um, but it was it's really geared toward leadership and planners. This this document is written for planners, and she's a planner. Um, she also said that she would be happy to come early and spend the day with us, mm -hmm. walking some of the open spaces that we have. Um, and some of the areas we want to, you know, show off that we are doing conservation or areas we think bees should be conserved differently than, they're, than they are right now. So um, at our subcommittee meeting, we talked about the, that meet, that walkabout might be a little bit smaller group, um, maybe looking over some maps of the, the city and kind of talking about green space as a whole and um, having Yvonne there to talk about what the city's doing, uh, at least in the parks. Um, maybe Jamie could be there and talk about sustainability. And, uh, you know, I would like to talk to you, Emily, about who you think might be at like a smaller group meeting like that. I was thinking maybe people from like the Deer Creek Watershed Alliance, maybe GRG people that are working in conservation in our immediate area. Um, so that would be a walkabout in the morning, like starting at nine. I talked to the folks at Maypop and they said, yeah, we'll host you. So they have a small room. It's probably about this size yeah. that we could have a small group in. Oh, cool. That's great. And then we'll just walk Deer Creek Park since it's right there and maybe Lorraine Davis. We don't really pin that down, but um, so that was exciting. And then she's going to talk that evening at seven. And I'm kind of hoping to do like a meet and greet thing beforehand. Last night I went to city council and it, not very smoothly, but asked them to <laughs> ask them to come to the event at seven o'clock. And um, so if they come, I think it would be great. We have a little meet and greet beforehand with Rhonda and any mm -hmm. other um in talking to Jamie, she knew some people in um, Richmond Heights and Maplewood who might be interested in coming at a leadership role, might be interested in coming. Um, and I was talking to a couple landscape architects folks that I know who do planning that are in this area. So 
I think just for that evening presentation, just getting as many people as we can who are interested in conservation. And if you know anybody in Webster, like I was thinking about um, Erin Shank, who's from MDC, I'm gonna invite her. Uh, anybody yes, else you I get here in almost every day? Jack Ward, yeah, he used to live in Webster. He moved, but yeah, but I would still, he might be there because of Rhonda. I think they're going to be spending the day together. What about Brian? Is he? No. But he'd Did, probably be interested. He'd be interested. Yeah. Day. You want me to ask Aaron? Like, I watch her daughter after school most days. So. Well, I want to, um, so I've got, if you pass that little flyer around, once I just get that officially done and um, figured out, I'll send that to you guys and then we can start okay. just passing that out. I don't know what the, so this is what we have the Webster stuff. Auditorium Reserve for, how many people does that hold? Hundreds and hundreds. So we have a lot of seats that go. find out for those. But I'm pretty excited because I don't know if you've, you've, I mean, I know some of you have seen this. You can download this in PDF form oh, on the yeah. website. I don't know if you were part of our MDC website. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, I watched this episode on YouTube. <laughs> I watched the meeting where they came. The oh oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay good wow. It's a good episode. <laughs> <laughs> I watched that episode of Green Space. It's riveting with our guest star Josh Ward. Law and Order. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a great document. It's I think if we could implement any ideas like she's showing in this presentation would be pretty and you know they're a resource for partnering they have community grant opportunities mm -hmm. that they do um that was going to be my thing yeah so when it's my turn okay um <laughs> <laughs> so mbc is a great resource and i think it'll be really good to have her I'm pretty excited about that. Cool. I'm excited too. Yeah. Sounds really awesome. Okay. I'll ask my agenda. Other um, new business, dark skies. Linda, do you want to talk uh, since it's your baby or do you want me to? Oh, well, we can share. Mm -hmm. um, we had a meeting with the subcommittee, which included Mr. Ronecker, who came and talked to us. And he met with Corey and I about a week ago, and we worked out a plan. He suggested, based on his experience, and I had not realized that he's done Cleve Corps, Clayton, Brentwood, and he's got a lot of experience talking to cities. And he suggested that we um, do this in stages, that we send an email to the four departments that are probably most affected. That would be police, zoning and planning, I guess that's Mara Perry. Um, architectural and public work and public works and of course the bond who's already in but but those those four and invited because jake's going to be traveling quite a bit through until june so we would send him an email could we stop by and you know the email will detail citizens have been noticing <laughs> it's really bright around here <laughs> and could we stop by and discuss what are you hearing? What what are your needs and how does it work for you? And just establish a dialogue and do that separately with each one of them. And assuming they're all gonna be amenable to our cause, arranging a meeting with all all like peoples and the other big shots mm -hmm. that need to be involved yeah. and the council and maybe do a special presentation that would include all of you. Do you have any insights and the politics of all of this because it all comes down to politics. Um, I don't know. I mean, he's done it in different yeah. cities, so I think that's good experience. Um, and when you say that, he's basically a draft council, is what you're saying. Yeah, okay. yeah. I mean, it starts with the, you know, I mean, he, they're invited in by somebody like, you know, us. And he just learned that if you get to sort of know the people who are going to be most effective and get them to at least be, you know, yeah, well, let's hear more. 
Do we know what our specific asks are? Well, kind this, of. yeah. Okay. Um, it's he thinks that we should, you know, suggest certain changes to the lighting ordinances. Okay. You know, prevent new lights going in, new bad lights going in. Let's start there. Really then, bright, high luminescence right. lights. And uh, actually get some numbers on, you know, no more than 3,000 kilowatts. Because right. he explained to us that, you know, the Amarin's just got all these bulbs, you know, bulbs, you know, call them bulbs, fixtures. Yeah. You know, where, and they just throw them on the truck and send a guy up and stick it in. So if Webster has no ordinances guiding what's installed, in. Amarin will install whatever they have. Uh, yeah, I remember him yeah, saying yeah. that ours was unusually right. unspecific or something like yeah. that. Yeah, because there's nothing about it. Just specify. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think, I think when we talked about this before and then hearing kind of the subcommittee update, I want to make sure that we're doing things in sync with sustainability on this. Yeah. We'll reach out um, to them too. And so like knowing that there's like a priority list of how they're going to do things, I don't want to kind of jump ahead of that with department meetings and not have it in the priority, like before it comes up on the priority list. Like, I don't want it to die. I want it to go forward, but I want to make sure that we're in sync with kind of, kind of the overall yeah. list too. That makes the most sense. And I, um, and that, so as part of once it's like the right time, whenever that is mm -hmm. the priority that we're working on, then, you know, work on it with that subcommittee. committee. Right. And then I would probably, or I would think that you would want to have kind of like an idea of what you want your plan to be, even if that plan is to meet with individual departments and bring that to the council and talk to people's like, before you meet with all the departments. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so that you have like, this is kind of what we're looking at. If you want to do some fact finding, you want to like reach out so that it's not just a cold call. We've been thinking that we, uh, we wanted to go to, to the different departments in order to get buy-in from them and see what they wanted uh, before we brought it broader. So yeah. the police, for example, uh, Mr. Reiner please. says, police are sometimes initially hostile to such initiatives because there's an assumption that brighter lights is more safe. Yeah. Uh, and so we would want to say, you know, to the police, it's not clear that brighter lights are always more safe, but what do you guys want? Like, well, yeah, you should us that imagery too, that right. we have those differences. Yeah, so. yeah, I'm just not sure like what the right order of operations is. Yeah. Okay. But I'm, uh, I think what I'm most cautious about is going too far with this when sustainability is like, yeah, we're going to get it on yeah. the list, but it's not there yet. Like, I don't want it to not be on the list yet, but have stuff in the works. Maybe we need to talk to them in the subcommittee meeting again before we go forward. Uh, we're not in any rush on this. This is like a slow rolling ball. So in the Green Cities Challenge, they kind of come into a department, do sort of like an audit. It's not like an audit. You're doing this wrong or that, but they come in and they sort of do an overview of what practices are in place, and then they make suggestions. And, and you know about that, like, is that? What's the call? No, I was like, that sounds, you would know ahead of time. It's not just a cold call like that. Oh, yeah, it's all you, friendly. I mean, it's to for everybody. Like, do you learn. request that audit, though? Like, does the department Through the Green that? Cities Challenge. It's a different program, but yeah. that's sort of. I could see that kind of being it's a similar, format. A similar format. It's that expensive. I have two questions. It's great. It's great. Great. That's so, all I'm here. Uh, so, but it's two different yeah. things. You don't yeah. just have to create your own protocol. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit about this is going off subject slightly? The priority list that sustainability subcommittee has, not like what's I, on it. I was gonna say I can talk in general terms, no. but I don't remember what's on it. So they did a whole and if you haven't seen it, it's a great document. Uh, on the city's website, it's called Forward Webster Groves, and it's like the sustainability overall plan, like a big plan. These are the things that we want to do in Webster. And then so... Um, From what I understand, Jamie said that was basically, that's not like a, a master plan document for the city, but that's sort of like a, a driver for them the wish in list. a way. Me. Maybe. Like, I guess I got the impression that the city didn't commit to, like, we're going to do this sustainability plan. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Sustainability came up with it. Right. Yes. And the city said, we love it. Awesome. Um, 
give us like, where do you want to start? And what's your list for like what you want to do first and in order, like what are your priorities? And so they took pieces out of that. Maybe it's not forward, maybe it's forever. I think it's forever Webster Groves. It's FWG. I think it's forever Webster Groves. So they took some pieces out of that to the rank, like this is what we want to get started on. And and brought that through you at the time, I guess, right? Yeah. So, so here are like our here's our top 10 or whatever. Can I yeah. show it real quick? Can I just pop it up? Do you have it there? Sure. Yeah. 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 So I guess I so these I these are the it. these are the categories. Light pollution is mentioned in the blue box, lower okay. left, reducing air, light, and noise pollution. Oh, okay. So I think, is this for the overall, yeah, and the, but then they have another list that I think is like specific goals that for within each that, year. Yeah. For the first year. For the first year. Yeah. So I totally get what you're saying about the not jumping ahead of of their priorities, like working with them on those right. priorities, which are the city's priorities, right? At least about sustainability. Yeah, and we're all together. Right. Okay. So I think we need to, I feel like, and I just said this to you earlier, like we need to figure out maybe how we fit into this or if we, mm -hmm. you know, where is our part in this and or do we have some... Yeah. So I think Dark Skies is in... Lady this plan too. Jerry, were you saying that section with lighting right yeah. there? They, yeah. Yeah, this target's much, right here. Change yeah, street lamps. That's the LED. kind of stuff we were going to ask for. Mm -hmm. They're they are ahead of us. That's good. Yeah. So good. yeah. What do you guys in sync with? Not ahead of. You're right. Okay. Uh, yeah. They're anticipating. <laughs> okay. <our needs. laughs> so that document is really going to drive them. Okay. And I guess right now I'm suggesting in an informal way that we need to either as for us to have more of a, a priority list for ourselves I think would be really good I think that's why like for the last couple of meetings I was like are we yeah. are we doing too much are you getting burned out I'm good <laughs> but, I think you said that time. but then I said, well, I think that's because I'm doing too much and feeling like, so I feel like something like this would be. Um, so come up with a mission statement, basically. Good for us. Or maybe our homework for this month is everybody look at this plan. Yeah. Okay. I, they, they, I like their, I mean, they got, I like this layout would be good for us. So, yeah. you know, their targets. Yeah, so they they well, it seems like we tie into a lot of these things already. And that's yeah. a plan that outlives the members of. Right. Mm -hmm. So I think nice. thinking long term, not that people are going to keep living after being on this commission. But <laughs> <laughs> who knows? <laughs> For life. But it's, it's a long term. Right. She said, right. been out. like, it's not all going to happen this year. Right. Yeah. I did so, the parks for 15 years, and now this, I, I want to do another committee, so I hope this isn't my terminal committee. Okay, yeah. <laughs> terminal committee. That's, a, that's an all new. Okay, so we'll, homework for everyone is read through that plan, and then, you know, let's talk. Maybe I'll put that on as a new business item for next time. Talk about how we grow with them alongside of this plan or within the plan or become part of it. And I'll look for the, the, the current top priorities and send that out. So that, that's really, I mean, being at the city council meeting last night, um, listening to Jamie going over some of the priority projects that they're planning and trying to budget for. I mean, that is really a tool that's, mm -hmm. I think, helping them do more, helping them be of service to the city more, but helping them, I mean, when you plan, I just, I'm a planner. Mm -hmm. uh, I know a lot, of, more done. a lot of things that GSEC does are pretty like low cost or the cost mm -hmm. is the labor kind of thing. Um, but we do have 
ARP funds still that have not been allocated yet. And so we need to allocate those by a certain time point, and then we need to send them by a certain time point. So as you're working on your priorities, if there are things that cost money, uh, it would be good to like, identify those and get those kind of in the ARP planning process too. It's an opportunity and to figure out how to. So I think in terms of kind of a mission statement as to what we're. Well, we've got, I mean, what are we doing? Our mission statement is given in the art. Yeah, yeah you don't need a mission statement for the commission, but I think priorities. Are priorities. Yeah. Because yeah. the mission statement, I think you're about to say, is basically like written in the. Right. Yeah. That's what we all agreed to yeah. when we signed up for this. I also found out why there are purple lights. Why? The purple lights along the market. Yeah. Turns out there's this one. Purple I just kept Googling the purple, purple lights. Light. 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 Yeah. Wait for it. And <laughs> there's <laughs> <tell us. laughs> one manufacturer. Yeah. It's a it's a production flaw. Oh. That nobody knew about until the lights were oh. all over the place. Oh, <laughs> Turning purple. Yeah. Yeah. Or I, some, I, I'm in theory about it being yeah. put next to the purple house by someone that I know. <laughs> <laughs> and and that's what it's just that one company and these yeah. shipments, nobody was keeping track of the records of where they were going, and they just sort of popping up wow. all over the place. Some people are why? And some of them are more pink and some of them are white. So yeah. So I presumably they're going to be, but you would think, you know, it's, it goes back to Amber and just throws in yep. what's on the truck. Thanks for yeah. doing that research. That I just, like, you never know what kind of rabbit hole you're going to go down. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, don't ask. The title of the article was The Purpling of America. Because <laughs> it's kind of a sci-fi. You know? The Purpling of America was That was the name of the, of the article in which this was exposed. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, my God. Goodbye, <laughs> <I'm an> Nether. <laughs> Okay. Um, so to find the lights issue, we'll hold off until yeah. we talk to sustainability. Yes. How about that? Yeah. Are we gonna, no, I we, think we need to hold off until we prioritize. So that means we're having another joint subcommittee meeting. Well, I want us to prioritize okay. our action. Yeah. I think that's good too, but we're also having another subcommittee meeting. Yes, right? we are. Okay. Now we can start now that yeah. yeah yeah because then, then jamie can yeah be a she said that's not on our priority for this year so like let's right think about what that means for us and because this is such a big long process over time you know it doesn't have to be the priority necessarily if she's working on priorities and you're working on she's on priorities to do it all like in one year but like you know small bites like I think our the priority Jake, is to get started. Right. Yeah. yeah. Jake's whole thing is just coming up with that we have found at city councils and city governments like to see, you know, proposed regulations on paper. Mm -hmm. You know, that we kind of and he can do the homework on that and make this suggestion. He could change the language to this. And then it's it's much easier. Mm -hmm. Then it's just to break he's down. done the homework. Right. Here yeah. is the Ellisville. Regulations. Yeah. Uh, we got Clayton, all of that, uh, etc. So we have models mm -hmm. that we could build proposed regulations very swiftly. It's That's not it. like we can personally go out and you know change lights, right? Well, and I think at um, you know bringing him in for another talk to yeah. just at a minimum what we can do to the general public. <laughs> You didn't mean here? No. <laughs> For okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I think we're kind of wrapping up, but um, yeah. Yeah. You're good. I, I mean, I think great updates yesterday from you and from Jamie, the council. Thanks, it was really good. I think that if you get a chance to watch that part of the council meeting, it's recorded, it's out there. Okay. You can watch Jamie's part very every two <laughs> But it was good to kind of get an update on what's going on with that. Um, when we were doing the council updates during the work session, Sarah Richardson had some really great things to say about the eco ed session um, oh. series. So, like, lots of kudos out there. So, watch that. 
Okay. Um, she, was, she was it was short, but she was just a little update on well attended the is. things have been and yeah. Um, so it might even get that. better. Um Mr. Roniker has had a meeting with John Corrigan and the other dark sky people in St. Louis trying to talk him into doing a big story about the life issue. And Jake said, you really need to write a story about Webster's eco Ed series. It's fabulous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? nice. it's so and, good. and he was intrigued. He had no idea what's going on. And, yeah, no, it's really and nobody great. else is doing yeah. anything like this that we can't run to here anyway. Yeah, that's great. And then my only other council update is that it's budget season and the balancing act tool is out there. That's out there oh, yeah. So you can go out and play with the numbers that. and balance the city's budget. No, wait, that's the other homework we have. I want all of us oh, to do that like, and tell your friends. Whenever you click on it, like, like, even though when you shared from Laura, green space, like, green space, just green like a priority. <laughs> there's no way to like just engage with it immediately. Oh, for that. Yeah. oh, I'll get you. It just seems, well, I mean, I can find one myself. I, I just know. think so many more people would do it if we're sharing it. I think then... it was announced in the Friday page, and there was a link, would have been a link to the Friday page, not on the picture, but in the text, maybe. But uh, that is like, but what everyone text is sharing from Laura's page, though, which is like you and yeah. the people that I see, like, there's no way to get right to right it. Which I'm like, hmm. anyone who finds this is in is like, I have to go to the city website. I gotta, yeah, we should put it out. So it's like, I can do it right now. Yeah. I will get a. I'll share it. I'll get a <laughs> post the link on it. And it's going to be, I don't know, have an end date for it, but it'll be open for a little bit. Um, so I'll play around with that. I'll get you okay. Cool. All right. Who would like to go to the Tree City USA luncheon? I need to get your Wednesday present. It is the 14th. Lunch yeah. is served at 11.15. You can get the reserve as 10.45. What day of the week is that? Next Friday. 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 Oh, oh, I can go. What time is that? I've never been. Oh, it's okay. just, it's at Maryland yeah. Heights. Um, yeah. Maryland Heights Recreation Center. Okay. Oh, okay. Can't go. Oh. I can't go either. Just I'll be there already. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Beyond housing. Yep. Okay. Anyone else? It's pretty exciting. Linda, have you gone? I haven't, but I'm kind of useless with luncheons. <laughs> Anyway, I, I am engaged in another. I have this digestive disorder that makes oh. it, it's, you know, and it's fun. I don't mind, but if I'm sitting there, you know, picking at it or not eating it, mm -hmm. it makes everyone else, you know, it's just what's so wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> I get it. So, I mean, I could live around it pretty well, but you know, it's, there's always punishment if you <laughs> go off the reservation. So. Um, I guess we could ask, oh, Laura, who went last year? Me, Tess. I don't know that I see if, Laura last year. We can see if Bill's available. I can pick him up on the way. And okay. we lost Bill. Yeah. Where did oh, Bill yeah, go? That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I have to give um, give the name Smart Group, or I would say by Friday. So, because I think they, I don't like to give you now Friday. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so Ginger's just, on the list. Ginger. Okay. Yeah, I'm um, all for sure. Are you interested in um, Friday, um, Friday the 14th. Mm -hmm. It's kind of fun. I think it's fun to go because you can see what yeah, a lot of neighboring communities are doing. Or, or, if it was on a Friday, okay. I would not. Yeah, so so Maryland oh, Heights. Hey, oh, yeah. Um, Maryland Heights nice. lunch is at 11.15, but usually get there a little bit before because it, it's always usually very crowded, but they have a table for Webster and we'll probably share it with another city. Cool. So if you want to, Maryland Heights, uh -huh. if you want to meet out there, okay. So yeah. one, two, I'll go if we can't yeah. come up with anybody else or you can't go. Are you going to be there already or Campus USA? Well, I feel, yeah, we are. We're getting our certificate finally. Okay. Um, well, I would feel bad going because I would really want to be there for that, but I, we're using all our tickets already. So I can probably go. Can I wear both hats? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then that just makes it easy. Um, we'll find out about Bill. Yeah. And, and Bill then it'll be the four of you. And then okay. if Bill doesn't want to go, then I'll go. But you okay. can be the. Yeah. I'll okay. I'll message him. I mean, he checks his email. And if I'm either in my seat too, like, pardon? You can have my seat. Oh, it's, I've been a bunch of times. So I'd rather, if you haven't been, it's kind of neat yeah, to okay. go. Okay. Um, I don't want to buy Yeah. And they, 
make this chocolate cake. <laughs> it's yeah, really, really cool. I, just I to usually don't eat that. Out for it. <laughs> mass made cake like that, but it was pretty <laughs> <out of eight. laughs> so, um, and the other thing that I was going to say this grant opportunity kind of fell in my lap I was going to let you tell them about it um, and I don't know a lot of details so I probably can't answer a lot of questions but we applied we sent what's called a notice of intent so that we intend to apply for the grant do you know about this I know about notices of intent I don't know okay about um, and it's through the Department of Natural Resources. And so usually they take two weeks to respond, but they responded the next day and said you were invited to apply. Nice. And it's a very intense, it's a federal grant, very intense process to apply for the grant. We do have someone who's going to help us apply who... Um, well, we haven't worked out the details of how he would be... Um, paid for that should we get the grants that that sort of thing but anyway she's kind of an expert on the subject but the money available is up to four hundred thousand wow. dollars and it's to do work along the riparian corridor and so webster's match is 40 percent so it could be up to six hundred thousand dollars worth of work done along the riparian corridors and we could potentially do our match with volunteers um it pays for a certain amount of admin. It pays for staff, Gosh. and it's huge. I mean, it's it's a big deal. So we're already in budget for this year, and I, Scott did me a big favor by helping review it to see if we could even do the letter of intent. But we have to really kind of get into it now and see that potentially maybe it's it is implemented over a period of three years. So potentially you know, there might be something two years from now that we might yeah. want to put the budget go towards it. But I, it could be anything from goats to prairie to riparian. I mean, it's everything. So it's a lot of money. So to me, it sort of falls in with everything that we are trying to do and with Rhonda coming in talking about big picture things yeah, that I can be done that. along the riparian corridor. So it's no guarantee that we will get it, but I we might be the only people applying for it. It's a 319 grant. Cool. So, and the actual application is cool. due in July. Yeah, it's gonna be gonna be intense. Let me know how I run. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. So all the monarch things, so all the things that we're thinking about doing, I think the project begins like in August. You can start implementing certain things. Um, so some of these things that we're not doing now, but we're going to be doing later and bringing in speakers, all of that is, is to, yeah, to be put in the grant. So, so, Ron, if, you, if you need a set of eyes, I do, uh, we have eight NIH grants in my lab and okay. we do a lot of uh, FSA CRP stuff on our ramp. So, okay. Yeah. So we'll take you up on it. Okay. We, we have a grant, grants team okay. in my lab. Okay. Thank you. So that Who's help? Who's helping doing it? Uh, Stacy Arnold. Stacy, oh, oh, I, I know awesome. her well. Yeah, she's the expert, so it's a pretty big deal for us and what we've been trying to do. Sounds awesome. That's great news. Yeah. Yeah. I just sent an email to Bill to see if my son. My son um, does. Um, I, uh a great new agrarian uh rancher up, up in montana and they run pigs along the muscle show river exactly like you're running the goats on shady creek so <laughs> okay. pig, pig, pigs are great and then well, you don't have to feed them cows, either actually well, that's, that's awesome one, that's yeah. nice cows. i think we can have goats on speed dial just anytime yeah if um, you ever want to just like have city goats you can there's one other if you guys can give me another five minutes one other thing i forgot i wanted to have a um, new business and it's um the green our city um tree planting initiative for this year um i've got a, a timeline set up for that i met with um todd and vera the new public works assistant assistant mm -hmm. assistant director director 
Um, so we established a timeline together, and I just wanted to get all the dates out there so you guys would have them. Um, basically, kicking off the program at Arbor Day, so inviting people to uh, apply, and it's going to be open to anyone oh. this go round. That's cool. Um, it's still right away plantings. So the city, so uh, Andre Euler is going to have to look at the properties, but we talked to numbers and he'll have a month to go and look at all the potential locations. So I imagine people are going to call and go, I want a tree and I want it like right here, but that's not going to be in the right way. So, so um, the deadline for applications online will be May 31st. And then between the end of May and the end of June, um, Public Works will review those potential sites. And Public Works agreed to pre-dig the holes. So we figured with the group of folks that we had last time, and maybe we'll have more volunteers, we could probably plant 40 to 50 mm -hmm. trees because uh, it'll go much faster. Uh, we're going to have one workshop. Um, to educate the stewards, the people who are going to be taking care of the trees on July 15th. And I did talk to Jen about potentially getting um, recording that workshop so that if a steward family couldn't make it to that, they could watch the recording and check the box because they now know how to care Just for it. July, July 15th okay. workshop. Um, August 20th is the deadline. Um, for us to place the order with um, site one. We're going to get trees from them again, like we did last year, which I thought worked pretty well. And mm -hmm. they brought bagged mulch. Um, but we need to get them that order so that we can have trees delivered to Public Works by the 24th of September. And then um, the week of October 1st, Public Works is going to go dig the holes, deliver the trees and mulch, and then planting day will be October 7th. Okay, I like it, I like it, I like it. We talked about doing it as part of make a difference day, but decided that too many of us are like head up projects for make a difference day that are going on yeah. elsewhere. Yeah. So there wouldn't be as many of us to plant trees on October so. Okay. Thank you. And that will be in the minutes. You want that? Yes. <laughs> so, so I have some to add to the new business. Yes. May 7th, Blue Blue Conservation is going to help do a cleanup at Lorraine Davis Deer Creek. So Yvonne's been helping with me coordinate that, and I've been in contact with Blue to Blue. Now it's going to be like the closing of the Eco Talk on the 20th. And say, hey, how can you get involved? Perfect timing. And that is that bridge to the next speaker series about water. So that's going to be dead mm -hmm. smack. It's on a Sunday. That's what works best for Blue to Blue. They're bringing the trash grabbers and the grain bags to put the trash in. Yvonne's 10.30. Yeah. They usually go from 10.30 to 12.30, and they'll have... You know, a social hour afterwards. Yeah. So, so that's the nice thing. What's that? May 7th. May 7th, 10 30. Yep. Great. And Lorraine Davis. Yep. Like me at the pavilion. Yep. Think. She reserved, Yvonne's reserved the pavilion already for us. Are you going to put that up on me? Um, or just you word of mouth that, right up that we could give I it have to not, we, okay. I Yeah. We can make one. I, I was going to make a slide for the. Yeah, if you want to give that to me and then we can give it to Jenny and she can at least put it on the Friday page or put it on the city's Facebook page. I can put it on the stream team and actually Brian would probably put it on the yeah, that's what I was on the about. regional yeah. calendar, yeah. which is like yeah, like to get the word out on okay. the website. Sounds good. Cool. Blue to blue. Yeah. I think Bob Chris is involved with that too. <laughs> I was going to call Bob Bill. Yeah, what is, I mean, I've always heard Robert Chris. Well, when I saw Robert, I was like, I guess it's definitely Bob. I, <laughs> <laughs> I thought maybe I've got the wrong one. <laughs> okay. 
Thank you for that last bit of business. Uh, our next meeting is May 3rd, five o'clock right here. And then after that, we'll be going back to the Monday evening mm -hmm. meeting. Yeah. I think we can have yeah. meetings at the rec center. I'll double check tomorrow, but if we want to do switch over there, although this is kind of, I like the, this is kind of good. Yeah, there's not a lot of competing with traffic and okay. ball noises. Yeah. Okay. So here would be good. It does feel a little more formal here. But no, no one can see you. That's my okay. Our right. meeting is adjourned. Thank you, everybody. Very much. Mm -hmm. I have brought you a hard Bye, Jerry. Bye, Jerry. Bye, Jerry. Okay, so I'll keep you posted.